Hello everybody, I'm back with uh, part two on removing the magnets from the metal brackets. I pretty much explained the idea on the last video, so I'm just going to go for it here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of those little dimples uh, right here and right there uh, that can create those pinch points I was talking about. So I'm going to use the old Dremel with a cutoff wheel on it. Okay, you'll know when they pop off because they kind of fall off and then stick to the magnet. <laughs> Alright, uh, right now I'm going to take this over to my air compressor and blow off all this dust I just created, this metal dust. So you got to have a high pressure deal to do that. And I'll be right back. Alrighty. Please, everybody, wear safety glasses when you're doing this kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, now that I got those dimples removed, I'm gonna. This is that weird bracket I was telling you about. I'm gonna clamp this guy in the device so that these two. Okay, so these two little tabs are uh, pretty much holding it in. I'm going to put a fair amount of pressure on there. Okay. Now what you want to do is, well, first of all, just test to see a piece of wood, like I said before. Don't use any metal. See if that guy wants to come off of there, which... It does not. So, this is where we apply the heat with our handy heat gun. Like I say, we want to do this real slow, so I'll probably cut and edit this video. But I hold it well back from the magnet, a good, a good foot or so. I'm just going to heat this up real slow. Hit it from different angles. Kind of have to heat the vise up a little bit too because it's acting as a uh, heat sink. Of course, I don't mind putting the gun closer on that. And I'm using the slow setting on this thing too. You can keep feeling it, see how warm it's getting. So as you can see, this takes a while. You don't really want to rush it. The last few I rushed and I basically ended up breaking a few magnets. Starting to get pretty warm. It's 
just going to heat this vise up a bit. Probably should have done that beforehand. I'm going to stop the video and back off just a little bit right now. Definitely be careful with these heat guns. They'll put a lot of heat out. Not like a hair dryer, that's for sure. Alright, we got pretty good heat on that thing right now. So I'm going to see. If it'll give. Clamp it a little more. She does not want to go. Okay. So, this is where I go to the method two. I got some good heat on that thing, so this is where we're going to do the sideways clamp. You'll notice these little flanges are going to bend pretty heavily. Want to apply slow pressure. Get that main bracket to bend a little, but this is where I think I'm gonna have to snap this off. Pretty weak because it's got this hole right there. Probably have to do the same with this one, so might as well do that now. Let's see, you just wiggle it back and forth. All right. 